Hi Cancer, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your August 11th to the 17th, 2024 reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me out tremendously. It gets this channel seen by more people. So thank you so very much for doing so. And if you are interested in a private reading, check out my website, daneharttarot.com. It is linked in the description box below, and I look forward to reading for you. Now, before we begin this reading, let us clear the energy space, raising our own energy vibration and releasing any negativity. This cleanse and meditation will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. Releasing all negativity from the body like storm clouds. Letting yourself feel calm, centered, and at peace as we enter into this safe and loving space. So Cancer, why I laughed at the very end of the singing bowl was because Spirit said astoundingly loudly, it's all about perception. So I'm passing that on because <laughs> obviously you need to know it's all about perception. Okay, so let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides. Okay. Let me just check that everything is in frame. Perfect. Okay. So we are crowned. Oh, wait. <laughs> Before we go to the energy that crowns us and what the tarot has to say, let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a butterfly in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced at random. So good luck to everyone. And also make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe because that is the way to get yourself in the running as well. Here we have strength. Yeah, Cancer, you're a heck of a lot stronger than you think you are. And what your strength is, even though people overlook it, like your kindness is your strength, your ability to stand in your own energy, to hold sacred space, that is your strength. But you're also astoundingly strong. Like you can... You can withstand a battle and knowing that about yourself is really, really, really important. Some people look very strong or can do these physical things that you'll think, oh, wow, they're very strong. They, they can handle this. And when they're met with life's battles, the, the intensity of life that comes forward, you know, they crumble. So just know that your strength is astounding. It moves us to our chakra energy, angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly. This is Clarity Reverse. This is the third eye chakra. I highly recommend tapping your third eye, which is just, first of all, so lovely to do. I'm doing it right now. It just helps to relax the face where we hold a lot of tension, whether we believe that or not, we, we do. And here with the clarity being reverse, we need to calm ourselves. We need to center ourselves. We need to make sure we're taking care of ourselves because then the clarity will come forward again. I also got, while well, shuffling the cards before, you know, is that, I would like to take a nap. Like I would like to just curl up and take a nap and be able to take things a little bit slower, a little bit kinder on me. So be aware of that during this time for yourself to cancer during this week. Like be kinder to yourself. Take rest when you need to. Angels and spirit guides, show them clearly. Guide this reading. This is Justice Reverse. This is Libra Energy, time frame September 23rd to October 22nd. And this can just feel right now like things aren't just things aren't fair which can make us stop it's like until it's fair i'm go until it's yeah until it's fair i'm just going to stop and spirits like some things aren't 
ever going to be fair? And why are you letting them win? Why are you stopping what you love or what's important to you? So let's see what the tarot has to say. We have the King of Cups reverse. Interesting. We're represented by the Cups in the Minor Arcana. So do be aware of that, that we can have a tendency to get in our own way during this time. We have the Moon. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Four of Wands. We have the King of Swords reversed. That's Air Sign Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. We have the Queen of Swords in the upright position. Ooh, I like that. We have the Page of Pentacles. The Fool. The King of Pentacles. A lot of people are showing up. The Knight of Pentacles. Uh, the Knight of Wands. And the Nine of Pentacles. Okay. So a lot of people are showing up. I would not be surprised if this is just a very busy social week for you. And that's why you got, I need a nap. Like I need to slow things down. I need to take care of me. That's going to be important. You're going to meet your match. Okay. When it comes to, to a person who can manipulate words. And I'm not saying that in a way that you are manipulative with words. Okay. That's not what spirit is saying. And spirit wanted me to clarify. What spirit is saying is that you're very good with words and you're very good with emotionally being able to to state things and you're going to meet your match with somebody who emotionally wants to state nothing like who does not want to show up and does not want to talk about anything that could slightly be difficult so just be mindful about that because that's going to drive you up and down in the mississippi i mean seriously you're going to be like oh my goodness it's like smacking your head against the wall so being aware of that is going to be important you can tend to during this week want to be more logical then you are in tune with your emotions and you need to have both come in. You know, logic is super important, but also being aware emotionally of ourselves and what we want and how we're moving forward. That's also going to be a very big thing. We're facing fears where there has been imbalances in our life. And this can be in relationships, this can be in career, but we're facing our fears about imbalances and justices in our life. And we're really starting to celebrate moving forward, but we're also starting to see that I can move forward. I'm not stuck in one place, in one space, in one way of being. And that is going to be very, very liberating to us. <sighs> yeah, we're starting a new journey. There is something here that we're learning about, but there is also an earth sign energy, a Taurus, a Virgo, a Capricorn. Now, this could be a very young person. This could be a child. This can be a more immature person or a person who has a tendency to have very childlike qualities to them, just an innocence, a beauty to them that you're going to be very attracted to during this time, Cancer. And it's like, it's a sense, it's not a romantic attraction, need this to be clear. And it's going to be attracted to the sense of like, wow, I want to, I want to have fun like you're having fun. Like, I want to laugh the way that you la you're laughing. Like, I want this joy that you have. And that's going to be really important. And that is also going to be a part of perception because this person is planting that seed within them and and choosing and making actually probably a much more conscious effort that it appears on the surface to to move forward in their prosperity and their success and and their and their happiness with themselves because i i can tell you right now this person will it would be so easy for them to start berating themselves and falling into sad sadness and you know not not liking what they see about themselves, but they're choosing not to. So that is a really cool thing. And that's going to be a really, that is a really cool lesson during this week to see and to know. You have a soulmate connection, true love connection coming forward. That is going to be a big deal for you, but you're first going to not like this person. You're really not. <laughs> like you're going to be like, wow, this person is arrogant and a bit of a jerk. But as, as time goes on, that is going, that's going to change. Your perception of them is going to change. Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles coming forward. There is something big that you are planting that you are going after. You're taking a leap of faith. You're going to be more of a student during this time than a master, but you do have this master energy around you. Now, this could be you embracing this tenacity within yourself, but this is also going to be others really helping you along the way, like having a lot of really good insight. It's very interesting that you have three of the of the four kings coming forward during this time. So it's very strong sacred masculine energy. The two to deal with emotions, the king of swords and the king of cups are reversed. So our emotions can be a bit all over the place and we have a hard time trusting them. We want everything to be steeped in really like, you know, scholarly logic like we want things to be very arcane in their knowing and that's not going to be the way 
the world works right now for us. So we can get frustrated with that. It moves us to the, the Knight of Wands moving forward in our fire, in our tenacity, in our success of self and what we want. We are looking back at our money, at at you know other people's approval during this time. We do need a little bit of a like attaboy type of thing. Like you've got this, keep on going. You're you're doing great. That's going to be really important as well. There's a fieriness to us. There's a tenacity to us that we need to to nurture within ourselves. And there's also a sense here that we can be we can be harsh with ourselves, okay, during this time. We'll look at the past, we'll look at the future, and we'll have a hard time standing in our present, and yet that's where all the gifts are. So do be aware of that. It's not from the past and it's not from the future. It is just from the right here and right now and really seeing yourself right here, right now. You have a lot of people coming in. Do not let anybody's voice or anybody's emotions start to usurp your own. Know yourself, feel your energy, stand in your logic, stand in your emotions, and when people say things, step back, think about it a little bit and be like, does that resonate with me? Is that true for me? It could be true for them. That could be their truth. That could be what has really helped them. It doesn't have to be true for you. So just knowing that too, during this time, cancer is going to be a very important thing. You have strong Pisces energy coming through February 19th to March 20th. And then you have, you know, water side energy, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer, air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, and fire sign energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. So everybody is showing up during this time. Very strong, very positive Pisces energy coming in, but it's a duality of an emotion, of, of emotions. It's a duality of self, and it is embracing your own confidence to see yourself grow. All right. Our subconscious spirit message here is resourcefulness. We are a lot more resourceful. We are a lot more scrappy and, and, and scruffy than people think we are. So that's going to be really cool. We then have the throat chakra reversed. So we have a blockage in our throat chakra around our life purpose. This can also be because we have Mercury retrograde on the 14th of August. So do be aware of that. But here it is. It's feeling like I haven't stated my purpose or my purpose has to be bigger than what it is right now. And spirit's like, why? Embrace where you stand. Start to see your purpose. Doesn't have to be, you know, big and up in lights. It just has to be calm and connecting to you. It moves us then to our energy to be mindful of. And it's just, it's annoying fighting. It is, it is complaining for the sake of complaining. It is fighting for the sake of fighting. It is just nonsense. So do be aware of that with the five of, of wands this can also be play that gets out of hand and you could be like oh my gosh here we go again so just be aware of that i do feel that like oh my gosh here we go again it's a misunderstanding that gets blown out of proportion it's just like oh my gosh and it moves us then yeah to our subconscious tarot message and we have the chariot reverse we are represented by the chariot in the in the major arcana we have the chariot reverse we have the king of cups reverse be mindful that we can get in our own way overthinking, overanalyzing, over, over feeling, and then saying, but well, my feelings have to have concrete knowledge to them instead of I can feel. And if I recognize and let that feeling go, you know, recognize, let that go, that can be very beneficial for me. Okay. All right, Cancer. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this time and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony, Cancer. May blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless. Bye.